Okay, today we're looking at Bordy Cake's smallest wheels they make. They're 38 by 100, and these are the Magnums. Each wheel comes in its own package. These are literally bearing condoms. So these wheels are going to be going on my C-Rat right here. This is like my curb setup. It's an 8.5, 14.5 inch wheelbase by like 32.5. I have the Indy Stage 4s on here, and now we're going to put these on it. And these are like 48 millimeters, so these are already pretty small, but these are gonna be 38, so this is 10 millimeters smaller. I love how it's like literally individually packaged. Oh my goodness, look how little this wheel is. It's just a baby. Oh my goodness. So obviously we're gonna skate some curbs, we're gonna also do some other things. We'll hit the ledge, the flat bar and whatnot. See some benefits these things have. I mean, already, let me tell you, my board's gonna be so much lighter with these things on. Oh my goodness. I like, can barely even get my hand around it. There's no way, is that bearing fully in? I guess so. <laughs> oh. Yo. That's like literally the smallest wheel I think I've ever, like it just looks so baby. This is like, look how tiny this thing is. It's insane. Like look at it on my board. This is so funny. Oh my God. <laughs> wow. This thing is actually the smallest wheel I have ever seen. I mean, I know they made them smaller, but geez, this is insane. I don't think, actually, I think the drip drops were 39 millimeter, but they weren't this skinny. So this is just insane how tiny they are. Look at that thing. Oh my God. How sick is that? We just got to Landis and we're going to be breaking in the 38 millimeters today. Boardy Cakes had the drip drops and those were 39 millimeters and those were a 103 hardness. These are a 100. So these are going to be a little bit softer, but I feel like the best way to break these in and test them out is going to be on a curb session. So your boy has already buttered up this curb. We might hit it some more, but I want to just point out a few benefits of having a small wheel when you skate curbs. It's just that you're going to be getting more truck to curb contact, obviously, just because like there's less wheel to get in the way. You'll be able to do like nose slide crook combinations easier, 5-0 switch crook combinations a lot easier, just because like I said, there's just less wheel. So... Let's see how these things feel and how they uh, how they work and how they skate. Okay, honestly, like when you're just rolling on them, you don't really realize how small they are. Like it doesn't really feel small just rolling on them. I mean, when you look down, I don't. I mean, I can. Ah, I don't even feel that I'm that much lower to the ground. I already ride small wheels, so it doesn't feel that dramatic. But I do feel all the cracks, obviously. Ah, it feels pretty normal to me, honestly. But yeah, that's what they look like. I feel like it doesn't even look that small for like how small of a wheel I normally ride. I feel like I'm catching rocks a little bit more. But you know what else I forgot to mention when you have such a tiny wheel? You can turn so much and you don't get wheel bite at all. Like there's no wheel bite happening at all. It's insane. I can almost do like a full 180 right here. Like look at that. And nothing's hitting. I'm putting all of my weight on there and it's still not hitting. So I guess that's another good, you know, Another big benefit of the small wheels. And my board does feel super light because I'm sure the weight of all these four wheels equals maybe the weight of two big wheels. The only thing that is a little scary is that since the wheel is so small and skinny, there's a lot of nut that hangs out. I mean, it's not like super scary, but there's definitely a lot of nut that hangs out. <laughs> it's crazy how small these actually are. All right, well, let's start skating.
Okay, so we just tested out the wheels on the curbs. It's definitely even more truck to curb contact than I thought. Like I almost had to get used to it because it just grabs so much quicker. The pros though, you can lift up into your like nose slide to grinds pretty chill. Uh, but there is definitely way more base plate exposed. I feel like I was hitting my base plate so much just because like there was so much, I don't know, there's like not that much wheel to like help you slide again. So it's really all on that base plate. So if that thing is not waxed up, you just stick. I guess I'll hit a few other park obstacles. I guess another advantage with the little wheels is probably just doing like board slide hurricane, board slide feeble grinds probably is easier just because there's less wheel to get in the way. But uh, yeah, we'll definitely sesh a few more obstacles here. Also with this tiny of a wheel, look how much more clearance you have when you do a board slide. Like your wheels won't hit the ground that fast, like if you had big wheels you would hit way quicker. I mean, otherwise, then he looks like he's pretty chill. Oh, <laughs> as soon as I say that. <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. It's so low. Like, yeah. So you do feel it's a lot lower, huh? Sure. Yeah. There's no forgiveness, and it, it doesn't take impact well. I could tell, and he does normally ride. Those are some big tires. That's like a 55 or something, 54 maybe. Yeah. All right. Bro. Yeah, the manual honestly looks like it's like sticking. It's like definitely hard to manual. I'm not even, I like how he's skating it for me. He's loving it right now. Dude, solid though. Yeah, oh, see, when see he yeah, lands. he lands. It's like, yeah, goes forward. Yeah, definitely like whenever you hit any crock or any crock, any crack or rock. Yeah, it's done for. What do you, what do you have to say about it? Uh, I feel like. How was the manual? Really difficult. You got to go really fast and uh, make sure it's precise. Uh, how are flip tricks dealing? Terrible. <laughs> <laughs> they always do though. What's scary about the flip tricks? Um, you're so low. There's no give. Okay. So you got to be precise. What size do you normally ride? 54. Okay. I was yeah. close to that. I mailed yeah, that. Yeah. yeah. See, that's a huge difference yeah, then. Yeah, that's a big difference. Chris, you want to take her for a roll next? Yeah, I'll give you a okay. shot. Okay. This guy, he said, the first thing he says, there's no speed at all. Try. Yeah, let's see some flat ground though or something or slap. So much truck to curb contact. <laughs> what kind of bearings you got? They're just like Bones Reds in there. Uh, I'll leave them with. <laughs> let, me, let me try a kickflip. Okay. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's slow. Like those wheels don't turn. <laughs> I felt like it popped pretty decent though. I mean, it is a 14 and a half inch wheelbase too. That was like a, you were like kind of floating though. Yeah, I feel like I need to land it, huh? Yeah, dude, that was a nice kickflip. It could be the Leos too. That's all I'm saying. He's going so slow. It's so funny. Oh my God. Oh my God. This guy. Yeah, I feel like he's going to get a nice flick. Okay, Stomped. Okay. Stomped it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Dude, you did, though. Yeah, I have my 56. He's money. Give me my 56s back. Okay. <laughs>
overall, these wheels are tiny. I guess it has a few good things, a few bad things. You can do some combo tricks a little easier. You're definitely pushing a lot more with these wheels. You do go a little slow, but what if we put like some bone Swiss ceramics or something gnarly in them? Dude, I wonder if that makes a difference. Reds? Yeah, those are some old reds, the best bearings for those wheels. They're still going pretty good, I feel like. They still roll, but it is crazy. They do feel pretty slow. I think they're actually probably too small if you have 215s. Your trucks actually might grind the ground if it's like uneven. But otherwise, then, like, they're definitely fun to have for your curb board or something. 